The helpful folks at Harris Ace Hardware say thank you for choosing Harris Ace as your favorite place to buy hardware and building supplies. Stop by Harris Ace Hardware and check out their weekly deals. Sign up for Ace Rewards and start earning points toward coupons and rewards. You'll even receive a $5 coupon just for signing up. Harris Ace Hardware in Jessup, Hinesville, Yolonia, and now in Brunswick. They are ready to serve your everyday building and hardware needs. Harris Ace Hardware. It's time now for the latest in local sports and sports due to the outbreak of positive coronavirus cases in Statesboro. The Friday night football game between Wayne County and Statesboro at Statesboro High School has been canceled. In just two weeks of students back on Georgia Southern's campus, over 500 positive cases, and it seems to be spreading throughout the Statesboro community. Statesboro officials called Wayne County Tuesday afternoon and simply canceled the Friday night game. Since then, head coach and AD Ken Crew and the staff have been on the phones looking for a replacement game, and the good news is that there will be football this Friday night at J.C. Stadium as 3A School, Hart County, out of Hartwell, Georgia, has agreed to come and play football Friday night, game time, 7.30. The BFL team will be broadcasting game. Those are the only details we have at this time. And Lewis, the Touchdown Club is going to join us here on the Witch and Bob Show with some other details on protocols for the attendance and ticket sales here in Wayne County. Again, Hart County, the preseason number seven team in AAA. They're located in Hartwell, Georgia, nicknamed the Bulldogs. Pretty good drive from Hartwell to Jessup. Again, they feature three Division One committed players, which are headed to college next year. The biggest, their tight end, who's committed to take on Notre Dame. And Hart County knocked out Pierce County last year in the second round of the playoffs, then lost in round three to GAC by a score of 17-16. Once again, hopefully get some more particulars as far as ticket sales and the mission today here on the Butch and Bob Show as president of the Touchdown Club, Len Lewis is on his way, be in studio in a few minutes with some more details. Again, Wayne County was not scheduled to have their first game until September 25th, and each school working on their details on how things will work at each stadium on Friday night. But now that the game is scheduled for Friday, those details being worked out quickly. And, again, hopefully have some more information coming up shortly here on the World Famous Bush and Bob Show. But football is scheduled, again, Friday night. going to take place at J.C. Stadium rather than Statesburg. Again, the opponent, Hart County Bulldogs, coming in from Hartwell, Georgia, this Friday night. More details all this week. Varsity Girls softball team easily disposed of Warner Robins Tuesday at home in just three innings, winning 15-0 on senior night. Warner Robins pitching hit seven Wayne County batters, walked more senior night at the ballpark. Senior Mackenzie Kagey hit a two-run home run. Senior pitcher Grayson Brandon picked up the win on the minor strike got seven batters. Other two seniors recognized and on before the game as well. First baseman Chris McKenzie, outfielder Wayley Moody. Girls host veterans tomorrow at 5 p.m., at the Barbara Strickoff softball field, that's another region game. Again, the game time has been moved to 5 o'clock due to the long trip by Veterans High School. Both middle school football teams get their seasons underway today, both on the road. Arthur Puckett will be over at Bacon County, while Arthur Williams will be at Brantley County. Both games kick off at 5 p.m. Wayne County has their first home cross-country meet tomorrow at 4.30. As always, the public invite to come on out and watch the runners. But again, that race tomorrow at home at 4.30 tomorrow. The volleyball team back in action tomorrow as well. They'll be down on the road in Brunswick, Georgia, with the JV match at 5, the varsity match at 6. Braves have an easy time of it in Boston. The Braves win 10-3 as Marcel Azuna hit three home runs in the game. Braves are now 21-14 and on the season, still in first place in the division. will play in Boston tonight at 7.30 to close out the three-game set. Braves have Thursday off and play the Nationals in Atlanta over the weekend. Middle school cross-country meet was held September 1st at Pierce County Middle School. Arthur Williams boys placed second at the meet with a team total of 52. Top five boys from Arthur Williams in their times. Logan Symington placed third with a time of 13.33. Jet Townsend placed fifth with a time of 13.54. Tristan Yarberg placed sixth with a time of 13.55. Asher Monpetit. Might have butchered that name. 17th with a time of 15.54. And George Bree, 21st with a time of 16.35. Arthur Williams girls placed fourth in the event. Ashlyn Pittman placed sixth with a time of 17.35. Saley Drew, 16th with a time of 19.11. And Adelaide McFarlane, 21st with a time of 20.18. Their next meet is Thursday, September 10th at Brantley County. Once again, repeating the top story. Again, the game at Statesboro High School Friday night has been canceled. The game scheduled this Friday night at J.C. Stadium against Hart County, a triple-A school. Very good football team coming in. J.C. Stadium, again, more details about protocol and ticket sales coming up shortly here on the world-famous Butch and Bob Show with Touchdown Club President Lynn Lewis. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports. Sports is brought to you each and every day at this time by friends at Harris Ace Hardware.
746 with WIFO and uh, Hart County uh, is one of those places you can't get there from here north of Augusta, kind of uh, between Athens and Augusta, way north on the Savannah River right there on the border with South Carolina. So that's a long drive. drive, yeah, but a good football team coming in. Like I said, they went to round three last year in the state playoffs, went 10 and three last year. They've got three Division One players. They're tight end, running back. I'm not sure the third player, but the tight end's the 